What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just telling you I was ready. You, you want to give me a heart attack or, or something? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... I just... I uh, just... Trying to keep it light, that's all. So, you've um, lined up marriage counselors from out of town. Not one practices within 50 miles of Pine Valley. Good. I'm surprised they were all willing to come here and be interviewed. If they want a position, they'll go wherever we tell them. You know, we're not hiring a gardener. Really, what's the difference? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, this crew sits around grunting and scratching their heads instead of doing any real work. Now, lucky for them, we're hiring them right before Christmas. You know, therapists don't accept gifts and bonuses. Or well, not from people with little money and no taste, no. But from us, they'll expect it. You know, I was an idiot to think that you would go through with this. Liza, what are you... What are you doing? You know what I'm doing? I am canceling every single appointment. All right, all right Liza, I stand by my word. I will accept counseling. I'll do whatever it takes to save our marriage. Mr. and Mrs. Chandler. Uh, yes, yes, here I am. Uh, right on time, I believe. Uh, Dr. Enoch Black, and you must be Mrs. Chandler. <laughs> and, 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 and I must be Mr. Chandler. Indeed. Shouldn't we be dealing with the present? After we banish the demons of the past. Won't rehashing all of that sort of bring up some bad feelings? Are you questioning me? No. We've both committed grievous sins. Liza's not the sole victim. I never said I was. Well, I just don't want Dr. Black to think it's all one-sided. Oh, well, all right. All right, um, she tricked me into marrying her. Oh, you know, I didn't hold a gun to your head. I didn't interrupt when you were talking. Yes, you did. Uh, you did. She's correct. Uh, continue, Mr. Chandler. Well, you know, when our marriage ended... You aren't married? Well, no, no, no we're, we're married now, but we were divorced before. Right, and when our marriage ended the first time... And then it ended the second time. You're interrupting again. You know, I really, I, I wanted a child, and I had a friend of mine who was willing to be the donor. Jake wasn't right for you. I wasn't after Jake. No, just his sperm. <sighs> Is that any way to create a life? The one of many. <laughs> Continue. Well, Adam was adamant about being the child's father. It was a... So much so that he thought that, that buying this fertility clinic and switching the sperm it... samples was somehow a humanitarian act. It was a noble impulse. No, it was... my love. Only proving that you were a control freak. Uh... Dr. Black, where are you going? Uh, I'm sorry, but I, I really don't think I can help you. After it was proven that Adam was successful in switching the sperm samples, and he was the father of my child, my mother locked him in his own safe room. Well, hardly an adequate punishment. Hardly adequate. I was in... Wasn't really a, a punishment. You see, my mother wanted him under lock and key until our second divorce was final. Well, they say three's the charm. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Adam's twin brother dressed up as Adam and came to the divorce proceedings. A twin? Do you do this trick often? I'm not saying a word. Well, Stuart, Adam's twin brother, he rarely becomes embroiled in our problems. Mr. Chandler? What? Why don't you continue your marital saga for me? All right, um, um, the next low point in my life was, uh, Liza and her ex-lover oh. trying to take over my company. <laughs> Tad is my friend. Oh, you and Tad have a sexual history oh. dating back to the mid-Mesozoic. Tad is only trying to help me get back at you for becoming the father of my Had child. Having me committed to a psychiatric facility in front of my board of directors uh, with below I will the belt. Not encourage this salacious mendacity. Do, does that mean you won't counsel us? You're beyond counseling. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Went into the boardroom pretending to be Stuart. His twin brother. Now, does it bother you that I have a twin? Should it? I don't know. Well, anyway, I was impersonating Stuart so I could tell the board what uh, 
had been happened to Adam, uh, that he'd been locked in the state room. Right. But it was really Stuart dressed as Adam in there. Yeah, right, right. I was personating Stuart so that I could tell the board of directors what Tad and Liza had, had done to Adam, locking him in the state room. But see, I already told Tad that it was Adam dressed as Stuart in there. Yeah, and then she <laughs> shared the secret with the entire board of directors. Well, they needed to know that you were trying to snow them. And, and then, then she convinced the board of directors that I should be locked up in Oak Haven, which I was. So what do you think? <laughs> Can you help us? I can't help you. I can't even follow you. Dr. Lissus, Liss, Liss, um, Dr. Schwartz. Please, call me Lissus Strada. Lissus Strada. Being on a first-name basis usually keeps older clients more at ease. She was looking at both of us. Well, if you'd prefer someone your own age. Oh, no, no, we've, we've been that route, thanks. Then let's begin. Relaxation helps me process more quickly. So, after Liza embezzled large sums of money from our company so she could run away with our daughter, I decided it was time to make her believe that her tumor had recurred. So, started doing, you know, flickering lights, uh, some, some mind games. Yeah, you know, the usual, but it worked. For a while. And, of course, when I figured out what he was doing, I started playing up the crazy angle. Are you awake? How could I sleep? You're so entertaining. We're very serious about getting help here. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Do you have any uh, colleagues? Well, no one's as good as I am. But you're sorry you can't help us, of right? Of course I can help you. I know precisely what you need. You know what we need. Sex. Are you having it? Are you advising? Are you two sleeping together? Oh, um, you know, um, it's been a while since we've shared, um, a, be a bedroom. Actually, we've been sleeping in separate wings of the house. Well, don't your children find that upsetting? No, our children are just fine. Oh. Is he kidding? Uh, Colby has had a reoccurring nightmare since Jair has been very depressed lately. Now, that is not because of our trouble. Oh, yeah. I bet they just love being caught up in your war. You said you know what we need. Liza, take your daughter and move out tonight. Your son, Jr. can stay with you. You really know how to pick them, lady. Oh, God. Ah. We are doing our best to keep our family together. And is anybody happy? Time to get real, Adam. I am not going to give up my daughter on the advice of some underage throwback to the days of flower power. I'm not suggesting you give up anything, except your need for control. Here, sit down. Now, both of you require time apart to reestablish your own independent identities. If you don't approach the rest of your life together on equal footing, then you're just wasting your time. Oh, wait, wait, excuse me. What, what is equal about me giving Colby to Liza? If the child stays with you, you'll use her to manipulate Liza. Well, all right. Uh, yes, I, I, I very likely would. But she'd use her, too. Adam. No, I, I'm not indicting you. I'm just saying that that's, that's who we are, Liza. No, why... She, why do I have to give Liza control? You don't. You're giving me control. That'll be the day. When do we start? Wait a minute. You're not, you're not, you're not choosing her. No one else will work with us. You told me I could choose the therapist. She's a schoolgirl. A hippie flake. Are you going to keep your promise? Yes or no? All right. All right, excuse me. Um, okay. Go on. Go on. Take control. Uh, Colby and I can uh, move out right after Christmas? No, it has to be tonight. <laughs> why? Why? Can, can, can someone please explain why? You want a happy, cohesive family unit. 
If I didn't, you'd be out in your... Adam, this is the best Christmas gift you can give yourselves, believe me. Now call my office and we'll schedule our appointments. Nice meeting you, Lyra. Nice meeting you. And you, Adam. Excuse me. What sort of a name is Liz Estrada? My brother's name is Liberation. Why? Because he escaped home as soon as he could crawl? Because he was raised free of the outmoded concept of male dominance. We are doomed. Do you remember the feminist anti-war protesters of the 60s? Dimly. Yeah. Well, they carried around the sign saying, girls say yes to boys who say no. Is there a point to this? My mother carried one of those signs when she was 16. Goodbye. Which, which proves exactly nothing. Adam. Lysis Strata, the, the Greek comedy, wives refuse to have sex with their husbands until the men stop waging war. So she was, an, she was named for blackmail. Some would like to call it incentive. I have packing to do. Are you all ready for your slumber party? Why aren't you coming, Daddy? Oh, um, well, because I'm, I'm, uh, I wouldn't be any fun. I have work to do. And... Well, we'll be at the gatehouse if you need us. I do need you. I always need you. Now, you be good, sweetheart. Where's Jr.? Well, I don't know. But I'm going to find him, and I'll tell him where you are. And he'll come and play with you as soon as he can, okay? Come on, sweetie, we need to go. I hope this works. So do I. For snow, is that why you're taking your snow queen wand to Brittany's house? Yes, and if it snows, Daddy will take me sledding. He would love that. Is Daddy going to take me to school tomorrow? Actually, you're going to drive with Brittany and Mrs. Cox. Oh. But I can make sure that he drives at least one time this week. Okay. But cannot Mia take me too? I miss her. Well, we'll see. Oh, there's Mrs. Cox. Come on, Brittany's waiting. Give Uncle Stuart a kiss goodbye. Thanks, Brady. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want you to have a snow dance with Brittany, because I want a white Christmas, okay? Me too. Me too, okay. <laughs> oh, boink. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when you get back, we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll string some uh, popcorn for the Christmas tree, all right? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Bye, darling. Have fun. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Peanut. Be creative. It's never gonna be the same, is it? You're never gonna look at me and not see what I did to Mia, are you? Liza, it, not, nothing is ever the same. <laughs> but whether... whether you forgive yourself or not, that's up to you. Frank. What if I come in? Are you feeling better about everything? No, actually, I'm feeling worse. That's too bad. I was hoping maybe you would find a little peace. That I'd say you gave him away my kid and never told me? What the hell? No. You don't get off that easy, Mia. I haven't gotten off easy at all, Frank. I'm sorry. Look, William is with a family that loves him. Because you didn't have the guts to tell the truth. William's adoption should never happen. That is not your call. Like hell it isn't. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to get upset. Frank, 
leave him alone. Let William be happy. What makes you think I can't make him happier? You want to blame someone? Blame me. But don't take your bruised ego out on an innocent child. Is that what you think I'm doing? I'm afraid that's what it could lead to. That you could destroy William's life. I would never hurt my son. Well, you may not mean to. But if you try to change his life, Frank... We had a son together. You decided to get rid of him on your own. I didn't get rid of him. As far as I'm concerned, you did. You see? You see this? This is why I couldn't tell you I was pregnant. You can't put a baby in, in some power play. Is that how you see this? Please, look. Just please. Just try to be objective, okay? Just try to stand back and see this from how can I you. stand back? I, I didn't do this to make you suffer, okay? I didn't. I did it so that William wouldn't have to suffer, so that he could be happy. And I won't apologize for it. I won't. Our son's happiness is worth it. So I'm not supposed to have any say in my son's life? Frank. Right now, William's entire future is in your hands. You can just let him be at peace with the people who he knows and who he loves. Or you could just rip his whole world apart. I have to see how he is. No. Mia. Tell me where he is. No. I can find out. Please don't break. You've made your decisions, I'll make mine. According to my lawyers, Frank, your rights are not as clear-cut as you might think. And who lined up these lawyers of yours? Jake? <laughs> no? How many other people knew about my son before I did, Mia? Liza and Adam have helped me to keep William where he is right Yeah, now. away from me. That's not the point. Get it. Mia could have died. It was an accident, Liza. You, you can't control what Mia thinks. But you have to live with yourself, not Mia. Mm. Colby deserves to live with a happy mom. Thanks, Stuart. Marion and I, I, I'm going to go pick up Marion at the, at the, uh, 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 uh the, where did she, where did she go? Mm, aerobics or something. Aerobics or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to go Christmas shopping. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Well, you know, we'll just have to see. If you like yourself half as much as I do, you're going to be fine. <laughs> ho, ho! Mia! Hey. What happened? What's going on? Oh, life just happened, and I screwed it up. No, no, no. Don't say that. What is it? Oh, these roses are beautiful. Thanks, thanks. Did, what, did Frank come back here? He didn't get what he wanted last night, so... Yeah. All right, look, look. We're not going to let Frank do anything stupid, you understand? He, he's not out to hurt anybody. At least, I, I don't think he is. Well, that's exactly why I want Liza to pay for what she did. What, what exactly does this have to do with Liza? It's this whole thing with her. It's just this, I didn't mean to hurt anyone defense. Jake. Mia. 
There are selfish people out there in the world every day recklessly ruining other people's lives. And then they're saying, oops, I didn't mean to. And they're getting off scot-free, and it's a bunch of bull. Well, I guess it depends on your point of view. Frank sure wants to punish me. You didn't do anything wrong. You're trying to give your son a great life. What's wrong with that? Liza, on the other hand, she nearly kills you. Mia, she needs to face the consequences. That's, that's all there is to it. All right. No, I'm not green lighting the research. Somebody's at the door. Okay, just find out the cost and get back to me. Frank, hello. Maid up at the house told me you'd be down here. Uh, Colby and I are staying here for a little while. Please. Is this about Mia and the accident to the party? No. It's not about the fall. It would be easier if you just came out and said what you want to say. You knew all about it, didn't you? About what? Keeping my son away from me. You knew all about, didn't you? You should talk to Mia. I did. That's why I'm here. Why'd you help her? What kind of a question is that? She's my sister. She confided in me. You think all fathers don't love their children? On the contrary. Frank, I think some fathers love their children more than anything in the world. Or you just decided that I wasn't one of them. What makes it okay to keep my child away from me? I didn't feel that it was my place to give you that information. So it was all Mia's decision, huh? Well, did you tell her that maybe she should come and talk to me about it? Did you? I respected her decision. I think you should do the same. I can't respect her decision, Liza. I have a son that I've never met, and that's all I could think about. She should have come and talked to me about it. Mia had a responsibility to this baby to give him the best possible life that she could. And now she's allowed perfect strangers to choose how our, our baby grows up? Do you honestly think that that's the most responsible decision she could have made? Mia felt it was best. No. She chose the coward's way out. How dare you? How dare you, Frank? Mia is no coward. Mia. I mean, you can't let Liza get away with what she did. It was attempted murder. It was not. It wasn't. I... What is this really about? Excuse me? Jake, I understand. You were attached to Colby. I mean, you thought she was your daughter. And then she was just yanked away from you by Eliza. Uh, well, Mia, that doesn't make any sense, all right? Because Colby wasn't my daughter. She's Adam's daughter. Yes, but you already loved her. And it broke your heart to lose that connection with her. Why are you digging this up? I, I can't just ignore it. I can't. I, I mean, you're so set on prosecuting Eliza. And it just... I don't understand what you expect to accomplish. Justice. For once, Mia, justice. She doesn't get a pass on this. She pushed you out a third floor window. She says she tripped. Mia, she'd say she flew if it'd keep her out of court. Isn't it possible that it was just an accident? You know, I know how much you'd like to believe that. I'd like to believe that. Liza was my friend, Mia. I cared about her. We were close. So why are you turning against her? I love you. You don't seem to understand that. You should ask yourself, why was it that Liza turned against you? I think the problem is here that you're having a hard time dealing with the fact that a sister that you wanted so desperately to love you wanted you dead. But Mia wanted her son, your son, to have a mother and a father and siblings. She wanted him to have the best possible start in life. 
And no matter what you think, it was a, a very courageous decision to give up her baby. It wasn't just her baby. Right, but... You, I just don't want you to think that there weren't any feelings associated with this. This was the most painful decision. This is her choice. It was a brave choice. Don't expect me to sympathize with me, okay? You know what? I just want you to understand one thing. What she went through for five years, every single day she would wake up and she would re realize that somebody else was feeding her child breakfast and, and reading him stories and kissing him goodnight. When you're a mother and you have a connection to your child that you never knew existed within you, and accepting that you might not be the right person to raise your child, the one you love, more than anything, it's the hardest decision in your life. Honestly, I don't think that I would have been brave enough to have made that kind of choice. Frank, you have so much of Jesse in you. You are going to be a wonderful father someday. I already am a father. You know what? You're right. I don't want to think that it's possible, so I put myself in her place. You could never do what Liza did to you. She was angry. She wasn't homicidal. Mia. She tried to lie her way out of it. She tried calling it an accident. I mean, that makes it even more hateful. But look at me, Jake, look. I'm okay. You are okay, thank God. I got you back. And I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. You understand? No one is gonna hurt you. You can't protect me from everything. You bet I can. You wait and see. I'm lucky to have you. I'm gonna need your strength now more than ever. <laughs> 